and welcome to my channel. Now, it's raining in West Yorkshire, so I've come to Blackpool to avoid the rain, and there's a very good reason why I'm avoiding the rain. I'm going to spend the rest of my day here with you in Blackpool, enjoying a bit of sunshine and the sights and sounds. So we are recording on, of course, the GoPro Hero 8 Black and the uh, Rode Video Micro on top. I've managed to cobble something together so that I can use the external microphone. And uh, thank you to David Harry for uh, tipping us all off on the, uh, the GoPro Hero 8 cage this aluminium case that we can get for it and I bought it immediately as soon as I'd watched your vlog David I bought it and I've got it here with me today and I've managed to put something together so that I can now use the external microphone but the reason I've had to avoid the rain is because I've upgraded to the Hero 8 so now I've got a wonderful camera with a big hole in the side of it I'll give you a few pictures have a few pictures of my little vlogging setup that I've created and uh, maybe if the media module isn't that good we don't really need it, maybe we can just do this. So have a look at these pictures, and as you can see, I've used some GoPro bits and bats that I already had, uh, and that enabled me to connect the uh, audio adapter to, uh, to the rig. And then of course, I had to uh, expose the whole side of the camera opening the door, but I made a bit of a, a rubber flap that I could put over the exposed parts of the battery and the SD card area. I, uh, I've managed to uh, create something that will stay in place, uh, maybe just keep the elements out. So how's the microphone doing? I'm tempted to sort of do a switch in between the two microphones, the internal and the uh, little shotgun mic. But I think on my last vlog, if you haven't seen it, have a look at that and you'll see, I think we established that uh, the internal microphone is actually a lot better. It's the best one the GoPro have ever done, but it's not, uh, it's not perfect and it definitely catches the wind. Now, when I looked at the footage, uh, when I got back of my last vlog, first time using the GoPro Hero 8, compared to the 7, I think it is a lot sharper and a lot clearer. I think the image is a lot better. How's the dynamic range doing now? I'm interested in that. It seemed to be coping quite well. So we've got the sunshine behind me, so it's a real, real tough test for it, but uh, it does seem like a far better image than the seven. So I'm stood here underneath the South Pier. We're gonna have a little look on the South Pier as well in a moment. Now regarding this aluminium case, it's not perfect. I don't really understand the uh, logic behind uh, there being no uh, place to put the audio adapter, like the Ulanze. If they'd made it like the Ulanze where you can slip the audio adapter underneath, that would be perfect. Maybe they're just thinking of it just as a, a tough case if you're using the internal microphones. But anyway, it would have been really good if it would have had the, uh, the audio adapter uh, housing underneath. I would have really liked that. I wouldn't have had to cobble all this together. But anyway, I hope the audio is a lot better. Now, I'm going to walk right on to the end. I'm on the Golden Mile. It's gonna be a lot further than a mile for me. I'm gonna walk all the way right to the very end. And I do believe the lights are on, so if I'm still here this evening, you might get a chance to have a look at Blackpool lights with me as well. Now, when I was looking at the weather app this morning, searching for somewhere that would definitely have no rain, because I've got a big hole in the side of my new camera, um, I did find Blackpool, of course. It might look really hot on the camera, but it isn't next to the Irish Sea here it's about eight degrees so it's nice and cool it's a good time for a brisk walk so this brings back memories of bondi beach well not quite not quite no <laughs> like i say the media module which is what we're all waiting in anticipation for that media module has got to be something special the microphone within it better be as good as the uh, road video micro otherwise nobody's going to buy it i've just seen popped up on my phone i've just seen a video by david harry something about an audio hack uh, for the GoPro Hero 8. So the Blackpool donkeys are still going strong. Just had a little look around them there. Now I'm taking a little bit of a break here on the South Pier. We've got the tower behind me. And while I was taking a break, I did have a little look at my phone because it pinged and it was an upload from David Harry. A uh, good YouTube buddy of mine and it's a great upload just showing us a little hack with the audio adapter for the GoPro Hero 8 because we're all scratching around for things to, uh, to make to try and uh, use an external microphone because as you saw in my vlog um, the internal microphones are just not up to it. Now for me that hack isn't going to work because um, the leverage, the stress on that USB-C port I just wouldn't be able to cope with that. So uh, 
as you saw in the photographs of mine, I've, I've put it rigid to, to a few little bits that I ha already had. But not everybody has them bits. Not everybody has them little bits to, uh, to fasten it to. So David's hack might just get you through until the uh, media adapter, till the media module comes out around about December time. So we're all, we're all looking around for something to help us through. And I'm so glad that I made this one for myself and, uh, and took it out today for a bit of a trial run. And it's working perfectly, so I'm really happy with it. I will say this again because I've just <laughs> pulled, pulled to bits uh, David's uh, vlog on the audio hack, and really, because it's, it's, it's a good solution. But uh, I actually got this case that I'm using uh, from watching one of David's videos, and um, it was the first case for the Hero 8. It's an absolutely excellent case. So I'll put a link to that actual uh, video from David in the comments section below and you can check that out if you want to get the cage. So I'm almost back where I started. I've had a lovely day here in Blackpool and I'm really glad that you guys have joined me or I would be all by myself. It's getting a little bit dark now. As I promised, the lights are on behind me. I'm going to take a little walk through and then head on back over the hill back to West Yorkshire where I belong. So the hot topic at the moment is of course the GoPro Hero 8 Black and the media module that's coming out later on this year. What's your thoughts on the media module? What's your expectations? Do you think it's going to be good or do you think it's going to be absolutely rubbish? Put them thoughts in the comments section below. Let's talk about it. I'm looking forward to mine. And uh, in the meantime, we of course have got to put up with the hacks. The GoPro Hero 8 basically is a great camera. Uh, it's working well. It actually works as opposed to the 7. I personally had a really bad experience with the GoPro Hero 7. I still own two of them and I will be selling them. Who's going to want them? They don't even work. They just keep crashing and freezing. And I'm not missing that. So that really is it. I've got to round this vlog up now. It's getting dark way past my bedtime. If you've reached this far, you must be a glutton for punishment. But thank you for watching. I upload a vlog every week. So consider subscribing and until the next one. Bye.